Uh, two questions. If I'm bashing the um, punching bag and screaming and still thinking of the person that I've just been standing in front of, I'm still hooking in and the spirits can still hook into me. Exactly. Okay, so I've got to just really try and blank off and just come no, from I've myself. I've got to own the rage yeah. that's within me towards, me towards my childhood rage. Okay. Or the expectation. Remember um, last weekend I talked to you about expectations and addictions. Every single time an expectation in you isn't met, you will get into anger if you don't have a desire to get what's underneath. Does that make sense? So, so if, I'm in the, if I have an expectation of another person, so let's say at the moment I've got an expectation of Sven, right? Sven's the camera man just there. Like, so I've got an expectation of him. I'm going to get angry every time he doesn't meet my expectation. Right? Now I've got to see that what's actually causing my rage isn't some childhood thing about men, or, sorry, a childhood rage about men. It's actually because I want to control men. <laughs> I want to get a man to do what I want. And that probably came from my child where I was either got nothing that I wanted or everything I wanted, one of the two, which is both as damaging as each other, right? And what happened was I, I've grown up now to think that my way of getting what I want out of a man is just to get angry with him. Once I'm angry with him, now he'll either do what I want or I'll get rid of him out of my life. Right? So, so if I concentrate in, on it and say, God help me to own this and get into the causal underneath it, yeah, so then that will keep me in there and not projecting it out. So own the rage and really own the rage without there's a, you'll feel a difference when you do it when you're projecting at another you're not owning the rage right you're not feeling the rage pass through you you're feeling the rage pass out of you and into the other person and you like it we like it that's why we do it right so here i am I'm not so sure there's no one this one either. I'm in a rage, let's say, at a person. So I'm in a rage at this person. I want to be. I'm not owning the fact that I want to be, right? When I really want to feel my rage towards women, in this case, because that's a woman I'm in a rage with, when I really want to feel my rage towards women, it will pass through me, not to her. So what, what you find happen is that you can feel it inside when somebody does this. You can be with a person talking to them and feel that they're in a rage with you and then all of a sudden they own their own rage inside of themselves, right? And now you don't even feel the projection of rage. They are screaming and yelling but you're not feeling it hammer you anymore. And if you're sensitive to it, you'll feel the difference between those two states. And you'll also eventually feel the difference between those two states inside of yourself. When I own my own rage, I don't want to have a voice to somebody else with it. I just feel it, feel it, feel it in me. And ironically, when I'm in that state, very, very rapidly I get to the underlying terror or grief. Like for myself, it's usually a minute. Like, let, well now I don't get into rage very often, but if I do, it's usually one minute. One minute and I'm crying. It doesn't last very long at all. Can I just ask something else? When you were talking about um, the willingness to deal with it, yep. if I'm not willing because I'm not getting into it, can I pray to God to help me have the willingness to um, get into the causal emotion? Well, I, I suppose you can pray to God about anything, can't you? But, but if I'm not willing, I, I can certainly ask God to help me be willing. But am I being honest with myself? Like, if I'm not willing, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be more appropriate to pray to God about why I'm not willing? Okay, I knew like, there was something that I was missing there. So that's it. why am I not willing? And yeah. show me that. Yeah, and then show me that. The law of attraction will help me to get into that. Because God's not going to make you willing. Because <laughs> it's your free will that makes you willing. God's not going to make you willing. Yeah. What God's going to do is expose to you the reasons why you're not willing. Yes, God will yeah, that, do that. that's more or less what I was getting at. Yep. If I ask him to help me become willing, then through my law of attraction, he will help me to... No. No, I have to ask, why am I not willing? <laughs> yes. And then the law of attraction will kick in. Yes, because, because let, let's be specific. If I, if I know I'm not willing, how can a prayer to God asking him to make me willing 
actually make me willing? Mm. Like, like, firstly, he can't answer the prayer because it's out of harmony with love. Mm. And how is he going to answer the prayer? Only by showing me why, why I'm not willing anyway. I've got to be open to the why. Yeah. Like, if you're angry, you've got to be open to why you're angry. Like, firstly, you've got to be open to the fact that you are angry <laughs> and then you've got to be open to the fact of why you're angry. If I'm not willing, I've got to... Like, so many people come up to me at the front and say, oh, I really want to deal with this. Is it happening right now? No. Then you don't. So many people say, but I do. I said, no, you don't. Is it happening right now? No. Then you don't. But I do. You know, you keep getting the same answer back every time. The truth is, a lot of the times, we just don't want to face the truth. <coughs> On the divine love path, you're going to have to face the truth. That includes facing the, that includes facing the truth that you don't want to do it. Right? And be honest about the fact that you don't want to do it. And then ask yourself, if you want to go deeper, ask yourself, why? And you'll be surprised what comes up with the why. There's lots of terrors and fears and lots of stuff, shame, and all sorts of reasons why I don't want to do it. Can you see the difference? Yeah. Yep. So whenever you feel like, oh, all right, I'm not staying in truth, instead of asking God to help you stay in truth, say to yourself, I don't want to stay in truth. I don't want to. Why? Oh, because if I stay in truth with that person, they're probably, going to, they're probably going to write me off for the rest of my life. If I stay in truth with that person, you know, if I stay in truth with that person, I'll lose half of my income. If I stay in truth with that person, like, I'll have to leave her and, you know, she'll take half of my livelihood away. If I stay in that, you know what I mean? We have all these emotional reasons why we don't want to stay in truth. But if I don't say to myself firstly, I don't want to stay in truth, I'll never acknowledge the why. And the why is all of the business. Like that's the, that's the emotional business. That's the processing we need to do, the why. So, so this is where it's so important to be honest with yourself. Like when you say to me, when you say to me, I really want to deal with this, but I can't seem to get there. What's going to be my answer? Standard. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't really want to deal with this. And the reason why you're getting there is because you don't really, you're not getting there is because you don't really want to. Let's be honest. Then the question is, do you want to know why? Why don't you want to deal with that? Why don't you want to deal with this? Why is a pretty good little question, isn't it? Let's just put it up there. For why, is this? why is so good? So, I don't want to stay in truth in my personal relationships. I don't want to stay in truth with regard to how I act with people. Why? I don't want to be willing. I don't want to deal with my emotions at all. I'm sick of dealing. I'm sick of hearing AJ talk about it. That's why I, half the time I don't want to go to one of these sessions, you know, even though they're free. How many, how many times have you felt now, up to now, that you'd really like to not come? Many of you are not being honest. <laughs> Plenty of times where you haven't felt that. And the reason is because oftentimes you get presented with some more truth and there's a deep unwillingness to actually deal with that inside of ourselves, right? And we're not willing to ask ourselves why. What we, what we want to do is have some magic cure, you know? Like, and I've told you that I can't give you a magic cure and the truth is actually that God can't either. Because these emotions are within you. So even though I'm talking about the divine love entering your soul and helping you through this process of growth, that's not a magic cure for you holding on to negative emotions. Your holding on to negative emotions is totally dependent upon yourself. That's it. Nobody else. It's totally dependent on what's going on inside of yourself. The question you've got to ask yourself is why do I want to do that?